Hey everybody, Folygon here, and you may or may not have heard, but ZBrush is joining forces with Maxon, the likes of Cinema 4D, Redshift Render, and Forger. As an official Pixelogic ZBrush live streamer and beta tester, I was able to join a meeting with the Pixo team. But let's get this out of the way first. I can't say specifics because I don't have them, and even if I did, I still couldn't say. So everything that I say in this video is pure speculation or my own opinion. Pending regulatory approval later this month, ZBrush will be joining Maxon and their software ecosystem. I've been seeing a lot of negative reactions from the community and I can understand why. Change is scary. But hey, I at least want to try to quell some of those fears. I know this dev team, I know what they stand for and want for the software and for us, and I know that they are just good people. So everyone take a big chill pill and calm down while Folly breaks it down for you. Let's get the big one out of the way first, licensing. Pixelogic has been giving free software upgrades for over 20 years. <laughs> what? They have? Yes, that means if you bought ZBrush in 1999 and still use it today, you've gotten free updates this whole time. If you bought it last year or even today, you would get free updates. Their official upgrade policy is this. Subscription licenses automatically receive free upgrades for as long as the subscription remains active. For perpetual licenses, Pixelogic guarantees free upgrades for one year from the date of purchase. Anything beyond that is entirely at Pixelogic's discretion. And this has always been their policy. To date, Pixelogic has never charged for an upgrade. Even people who bought the very first version of ZBrush in 1999 have received free upgrades for every version to date, despite significant changes in price over the many years. Due to this extremely generous upgrade history, and I'm not kidding you, it literally says this on the page, many people mistakenly believe that Pixo's licenses come with lifetime free upgrades. And I quote, This is not the case. At some point, we will undoubtedly start charging for upgrades. However, until that happens, we have no way to know what the actual cost or procedures might be. I know no one likes to read the EULA, but this is how it has always been. As long as I can remember, and I've been doing this a while now, and longer than I've been here too. Now, does this mean we are going to see this change with Maxon coming into the picture? I have no idea. I really don't, but what I can say is their policy has always been to include a year of updates to perpetual license holders. However, and this is a big, unbelievably generous however, Pixo has always given free updates since 1999. Just think about that for a moment and how easy it would have been for them at any time in the past two decades to start charging for those. And about once every year, this kind of cycle happens where everybody gets scared that they're gonna charge for updates, but it hasn't happened yet. To put it simply, this is who the dev team is and good news everyone, the dev team is not changing. If they decide to start charging for updates, that is completely within their right and honestly, completely understandable. Now let's talk really big positives. Like why, why is this happening? Why now? <laughs> well, first, this wasn't a decision made overnight, right? This is a big decision that they've been planning for a while and now pending regulatory approval, it will be officially happening what sounds like later this month. They've done a good job of keeping this one a secret, but why, why are they doing this? What good could come from such a thing? Ugh. Well, actually a ton, <laughs> a ton of good could come from this. That's actually why they are doing it. A lot of people don't know this, but Pixo's dev team is small. Much, much smaller than you think. And I'm going to be honest, they don't really like, or I don't think they like for people to know that. But really, they should be extremely proud of what they have accomplished alone, and I hope that they are. Now, they have the opportunity to expand with Maxon. What that will look like, I can't say. But after listening firsthand to how excited the team was for this opportunity, I am just as excited to see what this will bring. I could sit here and speculate all day, but that is not what I'm here to do. What I will say is the amount of complaints I've seen about ZBrush over the years because it's different and trust me, I get it. But now, now you are getting a chance to see that possibly shift and have new things added we've been dreaming of for years. I've been a part of this community for nearly a decade now and I've seen countless people complain about, you know, whatever little feature or say things like, I can't believe ZBrush doesn't have, you know, this basic thing, whatever it might be. There's quite a few of them, actually. Well, here we are finally getting that chance. I can't talk specifics because I don't have them. The dev team couldn't tell anyone on this call, even if they wanted to, but let's focus on the potential here and keep our heads up. I trust the people that develop the software because I know them. And I know that they want what is best for ZBrush and everyone that uses it. 
Hearing how excited the Pixo team was for this opportunity was a real tonal shift from what I've seen from a lot of people online. Now, did I have to make this video and attempt to shine a little bit of a brighter light on the situation? No, but I owe a lot to the team at Pixelogic for making such an amazing tool, especially you, oh fair, keep up the good work. I owe a lot to you and the whole team. Digital sculpting is not only my job, but it's also my hobby, and I love this tool, and I love this community. But at the end of the day, guys, I gotta be honest, ZBrush is just a tool. I've always said, use the best tool for the job. And for a while now, that has been ZBrush. I'm excited to see how it continues to develop as time goes on. And with Maxon on their side, hopefully at a more rapid pace, but if a better tool comes along, no hard feelings. I only see what's coming as potentially faster updates, pipe dream features asked about for years, and an even larger community, as this drama may hopefully get some new people into digital sculpting. I highly encourage you to read the official announcements on the Pixelogic and Maxon websites, but hey, it's been good. That's going to be it for this video. Again, I can't answer any questions because I don't have any answers. We will all find out together as time goes on. And until that time, you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.